Okay, so let's continue a little uh, introduction. So, what is Tinkercad? Uh, Tinkercad is a software that's being uh, developed by Autodesk. Autodesk is a is a big American company that owns a lot of actual uh, 3D software, professional 3D softwares, such as 3ds Max or uh, Maya. Um, those are softwares that are used, for example, in game development uh, to design uh, 3D models for, I don't know, characters and stuff like that, but also in the film industry to, um, well, to realize, you know, 3D effects in movies. Um, Tinkercad doesn't have quite the same ambition. It's mostly centered around designing uh, products that you can 3D print and then eventually um, uh, design uh, as part of an electronic group that you can program with code. And Tinkercad actually allows you not only to uh, conceptualize, to create 3D models, but you can also create and simulate uh, the circuit board an Arduino card in our case that will link each electronic parts of your auto robot. You even have a uh, code blocks which allows you to create um, or modify 3D designs using code instead of doing it manually. Well, as far as we are concerned, we'll focus on the 3D conception of models to customize our robot. Okay, so let's create our account first. Um, several ways are accessible from the home page of Tinkercad. Um, you can click on join now here at the top right corner or you can find the start tickering button But you know what since I'm kind of lazy. I'll just go back up there and click on join now When you click on the button the first question you ask is whether you are an educator a student or if you want to create a personal account if you create an educator account you will have access to Tinkercad classroom which makes it a lot easier for teachers to share lessons and design with student accounts. For the sake of the demonstration, we will use a uh, personal account. You can then choose the way you want to sign in. You can link your Tinkercad account to another service, such as a Google account or an Apple account, um, a Facebook profile even, which will make it easier to log in. Or if you don't have any of those or don't want to use them, you can simply use the usual sign in via email. Um, since, like I said, I'm kind of lazy, I'll use my Google account um, to sign in. After that, I'll have to select one of the accounts to which I'm connected. I'll use this one, my professional one, I'm sorry it's in French, and then Autodesk will ask me whether I want to receive some of their uh, newsletter. I'll unclick it since I'm already subscribed, I think, to one of them. Um, all right, so here we go. So now that I've uh, created my account, uh, it will tell me that I should maybe try and learn the moves of Tinkercad. So if you go, if you click on Let's Go, you will start a little tutorial on, um, well, how to move objects around, how to create designs around. I'm not going to do that, though you can actually go for it. Uh, you will actually be able to find those little tutorials afterwards. Uh, you have a lot of them um, if you want to follow them, but I'll close this part and simply show you how the uh, dashboard of your account works. Um, so basically you have, as we've talked about, the different part of Tinkercad presented here, the 3D designs, which is the main part, the one that we'll focus on. You have the circuits part where you can tinker with your circuits uh, and see how it could work and you know somehow try and see if what you plan on doing with your uh, little electrical uh, components work. And then you have a code block where you can actually model things using code instead of the uh, builder interface. The uh, lessons are the actual lessons that you've followed and completed and that resulted in uh, maybe designs that you can check on there. Um, your classes is, well, if you're a student, you can join a class. Uh, the way you want to do it is simply type the code that your teacher gave you. That's where you'll be able to join the class if you didn't manage to do it uh, the first time around when created your account. Um, the projects here are actual um, packages where you can have a project that contains more than one design, uh, maybe a circuit that's linked to it, maybe some code blocks that are linked to it. So uh, that's for more complete programs, more complete projects. 
As far as we are concerned, the part that we are going to be interested in is, well, the 3D designs part where we will create a new design in a couple of uh, minutes. But uh, first, if you do want to find tutorials, if you do want to follow lessons, you can go and learn here. And there you can find the uh, starters tutorials, the one that were offered to you earlier when we uh, accessed the uh, dashboard for the first time. You can also find, find sorry, more uh, detailed lessons to create more, mm, I'd say, complicated uh, designs. And you even have projects, complete projects. Uh, for example, you can build a house in Tinkercad, um, introduction to 3D primitive shapes. Basically, those are lessons that you can follow to get a grasp on uh, the software. If you want to head back to your dashboard, you simply have to click on the uh, Tinkercad logo here at the top left corner of your browser. And yeah, here we are. And well, that will actually be the end of this uh, second video. Um, the next one will be to show you uh, how to use the interface in a basic way. And we'll mostly focus on the camera movement. So I'll see you there. And thanks for watching the video.